Building can only stand tall if the foundation is strong. Proteins are known as the building blocks of life, ensuring we have a healthy body and lifestyle. Welcome to ProteinX Protein Abhyan, a campaign to make you aware about everything about protein, how much we need and where to get it. Through this series, we've been talking with doctors, nutritionists and wellness coaches to understand why most of the Indian population isn't aware of what the ideal protein intake a day should be. I'm Ambika Singh Kama and today we're joined by Manisha Bhagat, who is a health coach and a nutritionist. Manisha practices out of Gurgaon. Her areas of expertise is managing and reversing metabolic disorders and also equipping patients with improving their own care, well-being and overall health that leads to long-term improvements in blood pressure, cholesterol, body weight, fitness and chronic medical conditions. Thank you, Manisha, for joining us today. As a nutritionist, people look up to you for health advice. Can you explain the importance of protein in maintaining a healthy lifestyle? First of all, thank you, Ambika. Thank you for having me uh, over. And uh, to talk about protein, like you said in your, in your introduction, that protein is the building block. So very rightly, protein is something that you need for everything. That has, I mean, it builds everything in the body. And when we say everything, it means that right from your cells to your muscles to your tissues for everything you need protein even for you know how you digest your food uh, how your cravings are how uh, satiated you feel uh, after a meal everything is decided by the amount of protein that you're having in the diet so uh, protein is the most important thing when it comes to making a wholesome diet now uh, having said that uh, protein is something which uh, probably uh, you need in adequate amount and we probably we as indians because our meals are largely carbohydrate based. We do not have enough amount of protein in our diets. Yeah. So uh, what we need to do is that we need to eat in a fashion which probably we are, we are, we are mindful that we are eating protein with each single yeah. meal that we have. Okay, I think what you rightly said, because we take so much protein, we do have, you know, not enough adequate intake of protein. Manisha, tell us the food items that are good sources of protein, keeping in mind both vegetarian as well as non-vegetarians. So non-vegetarians, it's fairly simple and easy because uh, whatever you eat uh, has a complete amino acid profile. For vegetarians, it's a little tricky because you have to eat a variety of things to ensure that you get the entire nine amino acids, nine essential amino acids that probably you need. Because proteins are largely made up of amino acids and you, uh, when you eat a source of protein, uh, you have to ensure that all the nine amino acids are covered. Okay. So uh, for, for non-vegetarians, of course, there's chicken, there's, there's eggs, there's meat, uh, there's fish. Fish is a very good source of protein. protein. There is a very good source of protein provided you meat agrees with you. And uh, for vegetarians, there are legumes and there are like chickpeas. And Manisha, we did talk about like how Indians have pro protein deficiency in their diet. But just coming back to that, how do you think we can really bridge this gap? So, uh, one, we have to be mindful of probably uh, consuming protein with each single meal that we have, right from breakfast to probably we need to eat in a fashion that we are mindful of consuming protein with each single meal. Mm -hmm. And we need to eat in a balanced way. So, balanced means that, and especially for vegetarians, because Indian population is largely vegetarian. So, what we need to do is that we need to, um, we need to ensure that we eat a variety of foods to ensure all the nine amino acids in the diet. Having said that, we can also fix this gap by including a good uh, protein supplement uh, in the diet because uh, that's the easiest way because you know for each body uh, kg weight mm -hmm. you need to have one gram of uh, protein. So let's say if somebody weighs 60 uh, kgs, okay. that person needs 60 grams of protein and that cannot come from the diet alone. Okay. So yeah. protein supplements are also a good uh, source of fixing your protein requirement. Mm -hmm. And um, but yeah, you need to probably also work out with it because the protein absorption will only happen if you work out. You have an active, busy life. I think yeah. So lifestyle is important, and what you said, if you're not getting enough protein, one should know that even supplements is a great way to get that protein. Uh, Manisha, as a wellness coach, as a nutritionist, do you think people are becoming more and more aware and conscious about what they eat these days? Has that changed? Do you see that shift happen? Yes, yes, yes. There's a constant chatter about, you know, uh, eating right, uh, right lifestyle, especially in the urban centers. Mm. And uh, rightly so, because the stress levels are off the roof. I think the lives are increasingly getting more and more stressful. And uh, the food also, the kind of food that was uh, that used to be available to us maybe a few decades ago, is it's not the same. The quality of food has certainly come down. And the food does play a very crucial role when it comes to maintaining a healthy lifestyle, your fitness, your health, your all other uh, vital uh, Met metabolic uh, parameters. So yes, uh, there's been a shift, and uh, 
uh, like i said that rightly so because mm-hmm. uh, we need to focus on probably what we eat i think like you know like you said there has been sh- a shift people are more conscious but again uh, you know like you said working out is important now there is this huge spike in lifestyle diseases which we see and also these disorders which can be attributed to environmental factors the poor quality of food that is depleted of nutrients what advice do you give our viewers to beat such issues with a healthy plate to prevent them rather than have to cure them so more like preventive rather than curative so if you ask me one single tip what you have to ensure is that you have to have enough amount of fiber and protein in your diet so these are the two things of course a balanced diet goes a long way when it comes to um keeping healthy and balanced means that you include all macros in your diet right from a uh, protein carbohydrates fats and fiber is very very significant so you ensure that every day you have adequate amount of fiber and protein both and eat in a balanced way exercise stay healthy um meditate and uh, yeah stay happy I think our lifestyle what you said most importantly eating right sleeping well and most importantly working out I think all these things do make a great difference thank you so much Manisha for joining us and sharing your expertise